filmmaker, writer, and director. Ladies and gentlemen, the barefoot publicist. There we go. There we go. She's been here. She's been here a lot of hours today and covered a lot of ground. If she had a pinometer or whatever on her wrist, she'd have about 20,000 steps in, all in this little space. Um, so thank you all for coming here tonight. Uh, my sincere apologies and best regards from the Grobergs for any of you who expected to see them here. They were here from 12 to 4 this afternoon. They were 85 and 84, and it was a very, very long day. They were very busy. They signed hundreds and hundreds of autographs and visited with a lot of people. Um, and, uh, and just had a really tender experience, but they needed to go home. And they needed to go home and take a nap. So, so that's where they are. They will be here again if anyone miss them, wants to meet them personally, they will be here Friday from noon to 2 p.m., noon to 3 p.m., right here signing autographs and taking pictures with anyone who would like. Uh, but for tonight it's just me, and it's actors who are pretending to be them, and, uh, and it's you, and I hope that we have a good time here together. Um, I want to just tell you a little bit about the movie. Um, before we show little pieces of it to you and then we'll have questions and answers afterwards. Uh, how many of you here saw the first movie, The Other Side of Heaven? So just about all of you. That's good. For those of you who have not, repent. Um, buy ten copies. No, I'm kidding. Um, you, for those of you who have not seen the movie or those of you who don't remember all of it, the very first movie uh, tells the true story of Elder John H. Groberg when he was 19 years old. Uh, he called on his first mission to Tonga uh, from the small town then of Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, it's a long ways from Idaho Falls to Tonga. It's very, very different uh, culture, topography, weather, people, culture. Did I say that already? Um, and he had an amazing adventure, which almost cost him his life on a couple of different occasions. I think it took him five months to get there, if I remember correctly. He had to go to several different countries before he could find a boat that would get him where he needed to go to have his missionary experience. That first movie was released in 2001. Uh, in theaters nationwide, um, and uh, and that was a pretty big deal. It was released in in DVD by Walt Disney Home Entertainment. It's the only faith-based film that Walt Disney Home Entertainment has ever released with their label on it. Um, so happy to be able to say that. Unfortunately, they're not doing it anymore. We were the only one, but. Um, the movie has been seen by hundreds of millions of people all over the world, dozens of languages. It's been pirated all over uh, every Muslim country and every and all of China. Somebody was here today, she, she, she said, yeah, I, I'm from China. I have a house here too, but I'm from China. We just showed the pirated version of your movie to our entire ward in Shanghai. I'm like, yeah. Um, but it's great. It's actually great. It's a positive thing, not a negative thing. So the first movie tells the story of Elder Groberg's mission to Tonga as a 19-year-old young man. He had a lot of adventures. He got in way over his head. He learned a lot of things the hard way. And his faith was tested to its utmost. So what's the sequel about? Um, the sequel is based on a second book that he wrote about his missionary experiences when he was called nine years later to go back to Tonga to his same mission with his wife and five daughters, five little daughters between the ages of seven and six weeks uh, to be a mission president family. And, uh, and, and, and their fa their, as with his first mission, their faith was tested extraordinarily in the second mission, only in different ways. 
and perhaps to a greater extent, because it's one thing when you are in pain, and it's another thing when your uh, child or children and wife are in pain. And that happens in this movie, that happened in their mission, uh, shortly after arriving in Tonga, uh, Jean Groberg uh, became pregnant with their sixth child, who was a boy, uh, who, who immediately became perilously ill to the point of near death. And uh, he became so ill so fast, they couldn't get him on an airplane to fly back to the U.S. because they, didn't, they knew he would not make the flight. And yet, in Tonga, where they were, they didn't have the medical facilities they needed to treat his condition. Um, so that's part of the story of the movie that we have made called The Other Side of Heaven to the Fire of Faith. Um, so, um, I'm going to change our order a little bit, Marshall. We're going to start with In Idaho Falls. So, how about if we show you a few little pieces, and, and then we'll open... Uh, this to questions and answers. Is that okay? Is that okay? Uh, this first piece, man, is that the biggest screen we got? I hate that. Um, do, do we have control over the lights up here? 